Good day, everyone. This is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. And uh, before we move into talking about item analysis proper, I'd like to take a little bit of time to dissect down into the anatomy of a test question. Specifically, I just wanted to cover some of the standard terminology that's used when referencing a multiple choice exam item. So let's go ahead and get started. So there are basically three components to a standard multiple choice uh, test question or what we call an item. And so uh, before we get into the three components, I think this is an important point uh, to remember is that when I say item, item is equivalent to a test question. So when we use the term item analysis, we are literally talking about the analysis of our test questions. Okay, so what are the three components? Well, the three components to a test question include the stem, the distractors, and what's known as the key or the answer. Okay, so the text of the question, and I just have kind of a sample question that I made up here. All right, the text of the question is known as the stem. So the, te the stem of this question would be, which of the following belongs to the cytochrome P450 superfamily of enzymes? All right, so that's our stem. Okay, fair enough. And then we have what are known as the distractors. And the distractors are potential answers, but they are incorrect. All right, so these are the incorrect answers. So in this particular question, flavin monooxygenase, UDP glucuronyl sulfur transferase, and alcohol dehydrogenase, or um, ADH, are all distractors. They are incorrect um, answers. And then finally, we have the key or the correct answer. And so the correct answer for this particular question would be a CYP2D6 is the correct answer for the stem, uh, which of the following belongs to the cytochrome P450 superfamily of enzymes. I'm not going to actually talk about whether or not this is a good question. Uh, I just wanted to use this as an example to take you guys through the basic terminology of a multiple choice test question. Okay, that was short and sweet, and hopefully that all makes sense. All right, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video, hopefully.